What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing our Paragon Performance track exhaust on the C8. Uh, right now we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Paragon exhaust. It's really good quality from the pictures. I haven't opened the box just yet. So I'm not even sure we're missing any parts, but I'm pretty sure everything's there. I'm excited to hear how the car actually sounds. I did get a sound clip of the stock exhaust in the morning so that way you guys can actually see the difference between the track exhaust and the Performance Z51 exhaust that the car comes with from the factory. We're not going to stop or anything like that. Very simple process. We just have to take apart the whole trunk, remove the bumper, remove the clips or the cameras and stuff like that in the sensors. And that's basically it. And then we'll have access to the uh, exhaust in the bottom, take it off. It's pretty simple. It doesn't look like it's too complicated, but it does look like a challenging task just because of the car itself and I don't want to damage anything. All right guys, so we're unboxing the Paragon exhaust there already. Um, it's very, I can already see the exhaust. It looks so fucking cool from the welds. It actually has with but let's open it up real quick so that way you guys can see it's not even that big of a box but just because the cap pack itself isn't even that big there's the x pipe you guys can see the wells look freaking awesome it's got the paragon emblem right there as well the quality itself just looks like superb compared to a lot of other products that are a lot more expensive. And these use um, V-Vents to actually hold the exhaust together, which I actually have not seen another exhaust system before this year. And I believe this is actually the tip. Yeah, this is definitely the tip. So we went with a gloss carbon fiber with a blue tip. So that looks freaking awesome. Now time basically to get to the install part, install it, see how it sounds, get some sound clips for you guys, some drive-bys. Um, I'm freaking excited, so <laughs> we'll get right into it. All right guys, so we got the car lifted on both sides, have the wheels removed so you can get access to some bolts on the exhaust from over here. Also took off the weather stripping already and about to remove the trunk pieces uh, so that way we can get access to the, to the shield where the uh, cold air intake is at, remove that piece. After that, we remove the bumper and we should have full access to the exhaust after that. We're hoping to be done within two to three hours, so it doesn't seem like that hard of a process. It's actually pretty simple. But yeah, keep you guys updated as soon as we make more progress. All right guys, so the hard part is completed, removing the bumper. Make sure you have two to three people at least to help you get, to help you guys out to hold the bumper, remove the clips. This one was the one that was a pain in the ass to remove. That was two came off like nothing. Now that's basically the hard part of the installation of the exhaust is just doing that is removing the bumper. It's a very tedious thing, especially getting to the bolt up here. There's a bolt up here that uh, took us a good 20 minutes of, of uh, 20, 30 minutes of just little by little. Uh, Lucio did that. But uh, that was in the way on this side. It's not in the way because there's not one here. So it's a lot easier on this side. We could use the, the electric ratchet to uh, get that. Should be a pretty straightforward progress from a process from now. So catch you guys in a bit. This one takes a And to remove the shield, there's a good amount of bolts all around the shield. That's how you access your cold air intake in case you guys want to replace that, change the filter, anything like that. You can see these, the uh, stock exhaust is right there. Makes it easy accessible from this side. That's the shield right there. So underneath that uh, the carpet mat. So we, we already made some progress. Remove the exhaust. I felt like the Mustang was a more tedious process than this. And the only hard part is just removing the back bumper to do this whole process. Oh, I mean, difficulty level, I would say like a six out of 10. Not that bad. But you know, YouTube certified mechanics. <laughs> All right guys, so we have the cap back already mounted right there. Looks really dope. So what we're gonna do is turn on the car, make sure there's no exhaust leak or anything like that. Make sure everything's sealed up properly. What I'm worried about is that one right there on, on the driver's side. Passenger passenger side was pretty easy. Uh, they're a little different on both, from both sides, but I'm just worried, a little bit worried about the driver's side might have like, like a, an exhaust leak or something. But we're gonna do a little cold start, see how it sounds so that way you guys can hear it as well.
She's completed it already. Every bolt's been accounted for. Now, basically, just time to rev it up. See how it sounds with a couple of revs, not just turning it on. Let's do that real quick so that we guys can um, hear the exhaust, and then we'll do some flybys um, out somewhere so that we guys can actually hear the exhaust while it's you know under, uh, under load and all that good stuff. Alright guys, so we're just gonna do some moderate accelerating so that, that way you guys can hear how the exhaust sounds. Just leaving my house down the street from over there, it sounds super incredible. Honestly, it changed the whole, like, the whole sound of the car. It's completely insane. So let's give it some gas. It doesn't sound like a V8. It sounds very, like, exotic. Alright, we're gonna give it some full throttle right now. Alright guys, so that's basically the end of the video. Hope you guys like and enjoy those sound clips, the exhaust install and all that good stuff. I'm gonna leak Paragon's instructional um, video that they have on their torn exhaust. That's basically what we use to uh, go off and install this one. Um, it's basically the same concept. The only thing that's different is uh, they have these new simulators that are just plug and play instead of having to replace the whole bracket and stuff like in the video that they show you. Um, you literally just plug it in and it simulates the uh, valves for you. If your car has the, the valves that adjust to your uh, like your sports setting, your track setting, stuff like that. But hope you guys like and enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Again, like I said, I'm bringing you guys content. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.